Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation, and we're going to apply the quotient rule. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, y equals x to the fourth plus 6 over 3 minus 4x to the negative fourth power, okay? And that negative fourth power should give us a little pause here for a second. This is going to be a little more difficult than a normal quotient rule. So, using the same process here, my numerator, I'm labeling f to be x to the fourth plus six, my denominator, g, to be three minus four x to the negative fourth power, okay? Then from there, I want to find f prime, so f prime here is derivative of f four x to the third, and g prime here, derivative of g, is this going to be uh, positive, all right? Remember, the negative comes down negative, times the negative positive 16, x to the negative fifth power. Okay, so it's positive 16, and we don't really need to write that, though, the plus sign. Okay. So now we apply the quotient rule, dy dx here. So apply that quotient rule. f prime comes first, 4x to the third power, uh, parentheses there around it, times g, which is 3 minus 4x to the negative fourth power, minus f, which is x to the fourth plus 6, times g prime which is 16x to the negative fifth, okay? So now, I need to uh, put that all, don't forget the bottom part, put it all over g squared, which is 3 minus 4x to the negative fourth power squared. So now let's go simplify. So we've done our, our calculus, we've taken our derivative, now let's go simplify. So we have dy dx here. See if I can simplify this, we'll distribute the 4. So the 4 times the 3 uh, is a 12, so we have 12. Uh, and then it's x to the third power, it's root of the x to the third, minus 4 times 4 is 16, and then we add the exponents, x to the third plus x to the negative fourth, the exponents 3 plus negative 4 is a negative 1, so we have x to the negative 1 power. Now we deal with this one here, uh, make sure we keep the, distribute the minus sign, so uh, x to the fourth times 16x to the negative fifth, that's going to be a minus 16, and we add the exponents together, 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1, so we have x to the negative 1 there, and distribute the 6 times 16, which I believe is 96. Uh, we have negative 96 here, x to the negative fifth power, okay? Let me double check that really quickly just to make sure I don't make mistakes. I make any mistakes, 6 times 16 is 96, yes. All of that is the over denominator, which I'll simplify over here, okay? We have 3 minus 4x to the negative fourth power times 3 minus 4 x to the negative fourth power. 3 times 3 is my 9. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Uh, x to the negative fourth power. Uh, and then negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. x to the negative fourth power. Okay. Then negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16. And that's x. We add the exponent to the negative 8 power. Okay. So if I combine these two, which I'm going to do that right here, and combine these two to get negative 24 there. We have 9 minus 24x to the negative fourth power plus 16x to the negative 8. Okay? Well, at this point, I can simplify this a little bit. I can combine my like terms right there. Uh, then I see x to the negative 1, so I can combine them. So we have dy dx here equals uh, 12x to the third minus 32x to the negative 1. Minus 96x to the negative fifth, all over 9 minus 24x to the negative fourth plus 16x to the negative eight. Okay? Well, I know what you're thinking right now. I'm saying well, we can't have negative exponents in our denominator. How are we going to eliminate that? Some teachers are okay at this point. They say, ah, you're good. Don't worry about it. What I'm going to recommend right here, ready? is what can I multiply? I can maybe multiply this whole thing by, well, we multiply by 1, it doesn't change it, right? But if I multiply by something that looks, or doesn't look like 1, but really is 1, like a number over itself, can I eliminate some of these negative exponents? And what if I multiply the whole thing by, our highest degree is at x to the negative 8. What if I multiply the whole thing by x to the 8 over x to the 8? This whole thing over here. If I did that, I would get, well, 12. So we distribute the uh, x to the 8 times the 12. We'd have 12 
x to the 11th power, right, we add the exponents, 8 plus 3 is 11, minus 32, it doesn't, doesn't really change the coefficients, and then if, well, negative 1 plus 8 is x to the 7th, right, minus, uh, well, 96, add the exponents, x to the 3rd power, all over, distribute again down here, 9x to the 8th power, minus 24, negative 4 plus 8, uh, 8 is a positive 4, x to the 4th power, plus 16, and well, the negative 8 times 8, or plus 8 is 0, so we just have just plus 16, and that's it. That's equal to our dy dx. And now we have a final answer uh, that doesn't have a exponent in uh, our exponent that's negative anywhere. Okay, and so let me just double check here, and we're good. Making sure. Fantastic. So our final answer here is dy dx is equal to 12 x to the 11th minus 32 x to the 7th minus 96 x to the 3rd all over 9 x to the 8th minus 24 x to the 4th plus 16. So let's recap. We're given our function. Um, it's a quotient function. A um, y equals x to the fourth plus 6, which I label to be f, over 3 minus 4x to the negative 4, the fourth power, which I label to be g. I then find found f prime or g prime. I then apply the quotient rule here to have f prime times g minus f times g prime all over g squared. From there, I, uh, I've done all my calculus. Now it's just simplification. I distributed it out and simplified and I got it down to be here, all right, from my like terms together. And then I multiply this whole thing, because I saw some negative exponents, and it's fractional, and I can't really bring them up and down. But if I multiply the whole thing by x over 8, or x to the 8th over, excuse me, x to the 8th power, that's essentially a 1. So I multiply that out, they eliminate those, and it eliminates the, in a sense, the exponents, makes them all positive. But it's essentially um, multiplying the whole equation by 1. And so we get our final answer here. I'll 12x to the 11th power minus 32x to the 7th minus 96x to the 3rd all over 9x to the 8th minus 24x to the 4th plus 16.